Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Reese, and welcome back to another Spiritual Love Jones general energy reading for my beautiful divine feminines. All right, y'all already know this will be general, so take what resonates, and if it is not, leave that shit where it's at, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in and see what spirit got for y'all. Um, I've already blessed this reading for us and shuffled the cards as usual. All right, so let's see. Um, spirit, what do you have for my beautiful divine feminines? What do you have for my beautiful divine feminines? All right, so we got control. Mm -hmm. What I'm getting is right now, um, this for some of you divine feminines. Um, you could be trying to like control something like, or you could be worried about something. I feel like you just need to let go and let God. Um, I feel like you're worried about it too much. Yeah. So release your control off of a situation that's just out of your control. You know what I'm saying? It's like really nothing you can do. You just have to give it to God. So that's for somebody. All right. So what else do you have for my beautiful divine feminine? Tell no one, keep it private. Wow. This keeps coming out like for a specific group of divine feminines, like <clears throat> you're going through a lot of changes um, and a lot of good things are getting ready to happen in your life. You need to keep these things um, private, okay? So we got, I am not okay. Hmm. For some of you divine feminines, um, I feel like this is your energy. Um, you just feel like you're just not in a space of being okay right now. Um, you just know you can do better. And I feel like, you know, when somebody asks you, like, how are you doing, you know, Divine Feminine, you know, how's everything going? You just be like, oh, I'm good. I'm okay. But really, it's like you're not okay. I'm hearing that song. Um, is it her? Is it by her that I am not okay? I think it's by her, but that's what I'm hearing. I'll link it down below just in case. I'll look for it for y'all and put it down below. And I also want you to know it's okay to not be okay. Okay? It's okay to not be okay. You ain't supposed to be okay like all the time. You know what I'm saying? That's that's when you're perfect. Nobody's perfect. Also know like whatever you go through, it's for a reason. It's it's building you into something else, you know? It's creating you into a new person. I just seen being used as well. So some of you guys look feel like you're being used. Whoa. 
for that unhappy. Yeah. So this is definitely your energy, Divine Feminine. Okay. It's definitely time to do some healing. Okay. So you can start growing and glowing, girl. Um, like I said, it's okay to realize that you're not okay. It's okay to realize that you're not happy because that then gives you an idea of where you want to go. You get what I'm saying? If something isn't making you happy, you know that you need to do something different in order to make yourself happy. Only you can make yourself happy. Nobody else can do that. Not no man, not no woman, not no job, no career, no nothing. Like you have to make yourself happy. Okay. Whatever it is that you're working on, though, keep it private. It's going to work out for you, okay? <clears throat> All right, let's see here. All right, so we got materialistic, and then we got my feelings are growing. My feelings for you are growing, my bad, y'all. <laughs> So what I'm getting is you're about to get a lot of materialistic gain and also um, if you're starting a new connection or this can be somebody that you're, you know, going to meet if you haven't met this person already, um, their feelings for you are going to be mutual. I feel like they're going to grow just as much as, you know, your feelings for them are growing as well but i feel like what you need to keep private is this materialistic harvest that's getting ready to come in for you also this relationship too is what i'm getting like not saying that you have to like not tell people you know what i'm saying but like let's just say if your man does certain things for you like some stuff you just keep it private you know y'all know what's so crazy before i started this reading <laughs> i was giggling like i just started laughing out of nowhere it's crazy hold on let me see what this is we got a love in here This keeps one to turn over, but it comes with a bunch of cards. I want to tell you the truth. Hmm. Anyways, let's see, Spirit. I want to see you have my beautiful divine feminine. Jumping up at me. That is so weird. <sighs> okay, so we got holding on to you. You know what I feel like this is? 
I feel like this is you holding on to things, like I said, that you can't control. Just let it go, Divine Feminine. I know I messed this up. That car wanted to pop out a second ago. So, all right, let's see. This is the first card. I'm not having sex with anyone. I'm disgusted. The worst part is over, and then we have courage, okay? So what I'm getting divine feminine is, um, this could be you. I feel like, um, like I said, keeping your business to yourself, okay? Like I said, when you get this new love or if you're already talking to this new person, say if someone is like all up in your business, like, who are you talking to? Who are you having sex with? Like, what's going on? Da, 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 da. you like, mm, nobody. I'm not having sex with nobody. You know, you're just keeping things to yourself and that's okay. Um, you know, at least until you're ready to let the world know. But um Right up under, I'm not okay, we have, I'm disgusted. So obviously something could have like really um, put you in this space right here. I'm, I'm feeling like it's something that happened like in some type of love connection previously. Um, it could have also put you in this place of um, depression is what I'm getting. <sighs> hmm. Some of you guys could have anxiety. Whew, I'm getting just breathe. I don't know, y'all. I'm just, whew, out of nowhere. Just breathe. Um, the worst part is over. Like I said, you know the things that don't make you happy. So it's like you know what to avoid now. And then with this materialistic um, harvest, like I said, you just have to have the courage to know that this is meant for you. This is what is destined for you. This is your birthright, okay? And a lot of you guys are, you know, getting the courage to take control of your life, to take your power back, to, you know, to regain your happiness, to regain your strength within yourself. Mm. Wow. This is a lot of cards. So I'm going to take the one on top, okay? We got you are all I need. Matter of fact, I'm going to take all these because y'all know I just been shuffling, shuffling. Um, we have you are all I need, okay? Under my feelings are growing for you. So whoever this new person is or whoever you're dealing with or if you haven't met this person yet, this person is gonna be all about you, okay? You are more than enough. So you could have been feeling like you weren't enough before. You're more than enough, Divine Feminine. That's a, that should also like be an affirmation that you tell yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, in the mirror. Hmm. All right, so we have divorce, okay? Whew. Wow. Okay. 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 So what I'm getting is for some of you guys, um, you could have just recently gotten divorced or recently just gotten out of like a long-term relationship. You could have thought you were going to get married to this person. Um, but yeah, this is definitely given like separation, um, breakup. This is what, like I said, puts you in this energy of not feeling okay, feeling disgusted. You could have found out that this person um, 
you know, was messing around on you or whatever. Um, like I said, had you feeling like you weren't enough, but you're more than enough. But yeah, that's what I'm getting with this card. Like a breakup could have just happened with you. Or you could have just went through like a divorce if you're not married. I mean, if you're married, you could have just went through a divorce. All right, so we got, she wants to be like you. Wow. So what I'm getting is whoever the person is that this person was dealing with, whether you were divorced or, you know, just getting out of a breakup, put it where it resonates. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, whoever they were dealing with, they want to be like you. They were, I feel like they were trying to take your place. Is what I'm getting. Yeah. She can never be you though. I'm just <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, anyways, um some of you guys could be getting um for those of you that were married, okay, and you're getting out of the divorce, you will be getting your materialistic gains from this situation. So that's confirmation. Um, but yeah, look at this, y'all. We got let go of the outcome. I told y'all certain things you just can't control. Like even me, I can't control everything that goes on in my life either. <laughs> so sometimes you just got to let go and let God, okay? Let go. Let go of the outcome because it's always going to work out for you. As long as you're telling yourself that and believing that things are going to work out for you, they will. So just let go of the outcome, okay? Look, we got, I want to come through. This is this new person. My feelings for you are growing. You are all I need. I want to come through. I feel like this person is going to want to, like, see you, like, all the time. For those of you that are already talking to this person, this is what they're wanting right now. They want to see you. Excuse me. But, yeah. They want to see you. Oh, y'all. I didn't even know we was at 17 minutes. I don't even know if y'all like long readings or not or, like, short ones. I don't know. But yeah, this is a reading that I already know to do if it resonated. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button so we can get out there to more beautiful divine feminine so we can keep healing, growing, and glowing. And I will see you guys in my next one. God bless.